Welcome back to We Never Learned the Rules in this episode 24 of our Dungeons and Dragons campaign. My name is Brendan and I am the Dungeon Master and I'm joined here today by Evan and Anna who are playing Mo Baptiste and Sim, better known to some as Anton Greycastle. Last episode, Mo and Sim helped foster a marriage alliance between two crime (laughs) families um, all so they could get some poison to murder the Lord of Freyhost. <laughs> Those are two different sides of a spectrum. <laughs> yep. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, so it was going to be pretty fun. We strengthened crime in the city, and now we're going to murder the <laughs> governing body. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like two sides of the same coin. Uh-huh. The two of you have gained the poison you need to kill the Lord of Freyhost, Lord Veril Talbot. And uh, you return to the Salty Cat Tavern where, Mo, you proceeded to get drunk to try to remove your level of exhaustion and um, just kind of <laughs> drown your woes. Yep. That uh, sounds like it was, you said it like it was a rule. Like, if you want to get rid of your one level of exhaustion, you got to drink a lot. <laughs> but no. That's just how I do. That's just how you fall into a deep slumber. And uh, having gone to bed, we ended the episode with Sim singing a wonderful cover of Bohemian Rhapsody all about Mo. <laughs> sure did. I really think it raised his spirits. <laughs> sure did. <laughs> and that is where we're going to get started again on episode 24 of our Dungeons and Dragons campaign. Sam, are you doing anything during the night? Um, nah, man. I'm I'm really just passing out at the table that I was at. Like okay. I, I probably I probably wake up like in the early morning and head to my room. Uh when did you guys last level up? Good question. It's hard to know these days. It's been like three months. Yeah. Let's think about it that way. Uh, it looks like we leveled up towards the end of episode 16. Yeah, um, I'm going to say you guys have leveled up. Woo! Yes! You've all leveled up to level five now. Hell yeah! Woo. Fun I'm things unstoppable can now. finally happen. <laughs> so happy. <laughs> Almost got wrecked by a bunch of <laughs> very low level characters the last episode, two episodes ago. Yeah, well. <laughs> That's how I do. What are your new HPs at? 33. 43. Nice. Can actually take up some damage now. Uh huh. So. I mean, but like, it's fine if we don't have to, also. I'm sure you'd say that, yeah. Yeah, that's fine, Anna. <laughs> Please, no. It is the next morning, and you wake up feeling stronger than you used to be. What would you like to that do? That drinking really helped. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's, that's... I should fall asleep at the bar more often. <laughs> that's the lesson, kids. Drink and get all the power. Uh-huh. Drink equals fortitude. Yep. That's a dwarvish way. I'm just learning from them. Cut to. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, so I, I am, I'm an early riser, so I come up early and I assume, oh, you said you went to bed in the middle of the night. I did. Yeah. Okay. I woke up and was like, oh shit. Went up to bed. Okay. And I slept hugging my loot. Um, I think I probably woke up early. There is one thing I would like to do before we do all this shit. And I want to go find, um, like a blacksmith. Yeah. And I want, I want to buy a shield. Oh, shit. I thought you were going to buy a ring for Tano. That's where my mind went. I was like, oh, shit. Mo's going to propose. Never mind, I guess. That's really fast. (laughs) I know. You've you've known her for what, like a week at this point? (laughs) I don't know. When you know, you know, I guess. She's watched me kill like four people. (laughs) I mean. In self-defense. I don't even think you've done it yet. No, No, we haven't. No. No. She slept in my room once, Mm -hmm. and I was so distraught that we just laid there in silence. Yeah, that's mostly why she was going, too, and so she was a little disappointed. Yeah. Yeah, so you go to the blacksmith. Yes, and I'll I'll walk in, and I'll be like, hello, good sir. 
Hello. How you doing? <laughs> uh, just getting the fire started. How can I help you? Oh, yeah. Um, sorry. Um, I will take a shield. One shield, please. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What sort of shield are you looking for? Just like a basic, I mean, shield. No, nothing like really identifying or anything. Um, just like a shield. <laughs> okay. Take a shield, I guess, uh, okay. for... Uh, let me see how much a shield costs and I'll I'm gonna go home and like with my shit like engrave the moose into it (laughs) because I don't want to ask him for that then he might know he might know he might know the moose the moose yeah that's 10 gold pieces holla I just wanted a shield because it adds 2 to my AC (laughs) (laughs) that's pretty good all right, sweet. Bo, never going to get hit again. Oh, don't you already have a shield? No. Oh, I thought you did. thought he did too. I, when we first started, I was like, yeah, I'm going to have a shield. And then it was like, oh, no, I want to do a two-handed, two-handed <laughs> weapon. <laughs> a two-handed? Yeah. I would like to have two hams. But my, my electric gloves are one-handed, so I thought a shield might be nice. So, yeah, you're able to go. Um, I'm going to have you do... Do you have to do any ability checks to engrave and stuff like that? Um... Or is that Ooh, like a, can I use a skill? You can use a skill. <laughs> or um, artisan's tools. Yes. I am proficient in, what was it? Smith's tools. Smith's tools? Yeah. Okay. Um, go ahead and give me, yeah. What would that be? I think you can just, you just roll it and then you add your proficiency bonus. Sure. Sounds good. <laughs> nice. 20. Not natural. Okay. Yeah. You create... How what what type of mo- how are you looking to make your moose? Is it super stylized? Is it ultra realistic? Is it uh No, it's it's stylized. stylized. Let me I'll show you. The, well, this is an audio medium. I so. know. It's like um it's like a it's just like an outline of a moose. Okay. Like a general moose shape head. Which so you it has like antlers. So like, like when you say moose, are you thinking like a rocky and bullwinkle or something a bit more noble looking? <laughs> well, um I mean, none of it is, like, realistic, right? It's yes. not, like, a very detailed... It's just, like, a symbol, like, a very basic, almost like a brewery sticker okay. sh- type of thing, right? It's just, like, in the shape of, like, a moose head. Like a silhouette, I mean, yeah. right? You don't have mm-hmm. any sort of features. Exactly. Okay. Very basic. Like the Batman, you know? It's just, like, it's not, bat, it doesn't yeah. look like a bat. Yeah, just for some reason, the moose just doesn't quite lend to the same level of gravitas. Well, I, I, this character concept came yes. from like Ant Man and all the like other ridiculous <laughs> superheroes with like ridiculous your personas. Moose, your Moose Man, Moose Man, yeah, Moose Man. <laughs> and I just thought that was like so amazing. Moose can <laughs> fuck some shit up though. Yeah. They're clumsy as fuck though, which uh, is great. <laughs> are you aware that one of their only natural predators is the killer whale? Yes, I, you told us that at one point, which is badass. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, so let's go. Yep. So you make a great engraving of a moose on your shield. Looks Perfect. exactly like what Mo was envisioning. Perfect. And uh, yeah, you step out as I imagine Sim is waking up. Hey, morning. Uh, morning. I've got a bit of a hangover. <laughs> For some reason, the way you did it, I just thought you were like lifting up a sleep mask. <laughs> I mean, I probably use one of those. I, <laughs> I at least Sim usually totally does. Yeah, I usually use one. I probably forgot to wear it last night, which just didn't give me as good of sleep. I mean, does, although as what does Sim have like a skincare routine, even though he can just change his skin? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pro- yeah, he definitely. just en- enjoys the process of like rubbing lotion on his face and yeah, doing mud like, baths and shit on the skin. What? It rubs the lotion on the skin, <laughs> or it gets the hose like, again. Yikes, guys. <laughs> Do you not know this? I know it. That's why I'm yikesing. <laughs> like, wow. You're going to put me in a hole? Wow. <laughs> I, I, think, wow. I think this is going to be my new uh, my new DMing voice. I'm just going to be like, oh, wow. Hi, I'm Tana. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Hello there, Mr. Lecter. Like, uh, I'm trying to find this murderer. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh. Wow. Wow. I don't know. I just love this is becoming an Owen Wilson appreciation podcast. <laughs> I, I'm okay with it. He's he's pretty dope. 
<laughs> just watch. We're going to find he's out he's there. super troubling. Yeah. Tano, you know, comes out of her room. She, her, she kind of wiggles all over and puffs up her fur before settling it all back down. So are we, uh, what are we doing? Uh, okay. So I need, I just, I, I need something for my head before we really get into anything else. So get something into your head for my head. Oh, okay. For a second, I was wondering if you were like Didn't taking out your brain or something. No, <laughs> I just i I had a little bit. I I don't fully remember everything. I kind of remember serenading you. That's about the last she thing I remember. She holds up her uh, book. Don't worry, I got it all down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, great! <laughs> nice, Tano. Yeah, um, I can't wait. For did us you to read through that together? Did you did you record my lyrics? Because I feel like they were great. Like, yeah, pretty I did. spot. Oh, awesome! I really want to rework those a little bit. Um, I, I feel like turning to Mo. I, I, I feel like they maybe maybe I didn't express myself super great last night. Um, I you, just there was a lot of talk about a lot of things I'm not proud of, buddy. I I'm I'm sorry. I I, I just like. It, it, I was really. I was at a four point five, and then I went to a five point five. I think. I'm really sorry. Um, uh, so don't worry. Like I'm gonna rework the song. It's gonna be great. I promise. Okay. okay. I can't wait to hear it. Okay. Awesome. Um, and I kind of like give Tano a look, like, like with <laughs> big eyes. Do and I Tano's notice? Tano's like, shit. It got weird. <laughs> <laughs> Do I notice his big eyes? Can I roll to see? What's your passive? Perception? Yes. 17. Yeah, you do notice. <laughs> I'm hurt by that. <laughs> I'm not going to say anything. I'm just going to like look down a little bit and without without saying anything, just like leave our little, like I imagine the three of us are sort of saying in a triangle and I'm mm-hmm. just going to walk down the hall towards um, like to go get breakfast. Yeah, I don't, I feel kind of bad, but it's like. I'm, I'm also in this really shitty situation. I'm sort of like lashing out at you. <laughs> it's like a, like, like you're going to college. So it's like, I want to make things worse yeah. you know, to make it easier <laughs> type of like, I'm mad. So, so should everyone else or something. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. Yeah. yeah. You head down to breakfast. Yeah. Um, you get that easily enough. It's about what you would expect from the salty cat tavern. And I, purposely chose a table that only has one chair in it. <laughs> oh man, I really hurt your feelings. That's very sad. <laughs> I assume Tano and, Tano and I sit down at a table. Yeah. It's like, um, should we invite Sim over? I she think seems- he's in a mood. I'm, are, I'm are definitely you? humming to myself. <laughs> 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 So sad. Yeah, I think he's in a bit of a mood. Um, how are you doing? Uh, I I got some sleep last night, so I feel a little more clear. Which I don't know if that's a good thing right now. I kind of wish my my con. I was a little fuzzy. How you know? Just a day. I'm sure I'm gonna want to forget. Just, you don't have to become someone you don't want to be. This is... I just don't know what else to do, Tano. This is the person I have to be for for us to save the world, you know? I, uh, I just don't know how we're going to be able to, like, fix anything if we constantly have this over our heads, so... Yeah. I just, you know, this is what heroes do, right? It's, n- it's not the code, but... It's, um, you know, extenuating circumstance. I don't think it was written, you know, this code was devised at a time when there was a giant monster the size of mountains killing thousands of people. So, <sighs> anyways, I'm, it's, it's just a learning curve, right? We're getting there. It's just a learning curve. Yeah. <sighs> How are you doing? I, well, just, just in case every, if everything goes badly, just know that. I, and and she blushes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, I like like you, Mo. <laughs> this is so high school. This is perfect. 
Well, I, I've already seen the level Mo is at. Uh huh. I mean, yeah. The, also, Mo this is, is only a... about a week. Like I said. Yeah. yeah. Um, I'm not sure uh, Tano's been through many more uh, relationships yeah. than Mo has. Though she is a mouse, so she's probably more familiar with sex. <laughs> <laughs> Me and my 346 siblings. <laughs> Good lord. Oh my gosh. Yeah, mouse folks should just be like running this country. You know, <laughs> like they're just everywhere. So many of them. I, I And I blush too. And like, uh, I like like you too. (laughs) (laughs) The face Evan just made was so high school girl. Like it was very uh, Valley girl. Yeah. yeah. (laughs) Um, I'm glad you said that. I this this whole that's a reason to remember this day for a good reason or in a good way. So thank you. Yeah. And I want to just give her a little kiss. Uh, She kisses you back. And uh, a human walking by <laughs> looks at the two of you and you just hear a mutter as he walks away. A human and a mouse. How does that work? <laughs> Someday we'll figure it out, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Through explicit detail. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm going to just have like a nice little breakfast with Tano. And then um, after we're done eating and just chit chatting, I want to go up to the barkeeper breakfast boy whatever <laughs> whatever it's called and um i want to teach them how to make a j- drink specifically mo's hangover cure at the salty cat tavern uh-huh i want to ask them if they can make it for me we could but don't you know we hate you i'll give you a gold <sighs> That's, Fine. A, that's a lot for a drink. Fine. <laughs> don't we? Don't you know we hate you? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! He's just gonna move past that. <laughs> yeah. So I'm gonna I'm gonna assume it's like I'm gonna be like, do you have like spinach, um, oysters, um, something spicy, and like um, some sort of animal fat. Well, he got the animal fat and something spicy. You can probably scrape the edge of a mop bucket, but uh, I don't have oysters. What's a spinach? Do you have anything green, like leafy? Oh, there's like a tree outside. Uh, okay. You know- <laughs> oh my gosh. Do you have coffee? I've got ale. Okay. Okay. Give me the ale. Put... <laughs> Can I just like look around? Yeah, <laughs> a roll a, a roll an investigation. <laughs> oh no, that's not good. Eleven. <laughs> Name a very weird combination, like not something normal. Um, I feel like you were already doing that. No, I was just trying to do like healthy. <laughs> yeah, you know, like cleaning out shit, like a combination of food. Yeah, it, it, what you're able to find, it's not probably good for your purposes but you're able to find some stuff okay so weird stuff yeah i'm just gonna yeah put all these like random ingredients like from leftovers and shit into a blender well a blender (laughs) that probably doesn't exist (laughs) no a bowl and you mash it with something oh man how am i gonna make this hangover cure the pseudo hangover cure (laughs) yeah i'll like um can i like just like take a knife and cut up some stuff and like throw it together and yeah, yeah. As finally um, as I can and put it in beer, I guess. <laughs> this is disgusting. <laughs> um, yeah, you're drinking this weird concoction? No, I'm. it's for... I'm trying to make amends with... Oh, yeah. Yeah, it is not an appealing drink. But you think it's, <laughs> you think it's uh, something that'll help? It's like fizzy, but it's got chunks in it. It's like it's chunks kind of brownish of like green. Half, half mashed, half chunky potatoes with uh, day old um, bread bits and maybe an egg in <laughs> oh, there. Oh, that's good. Um, okay. Yeah, it's a, it's a real trip. Okay. Sure. I'll bring it up to uh, Hey, Sin. Um, As you walk up, you just I, I get a bit louder. I'm like, nothing really matters. <laughs> nothing. I lock eyes with you. Nothing really matters to me. Hey, bud. Um, I can kind of tell you're not in a, a, a great mood. Um, and I just wanted to say sorry. I'm just like, I'm stressed about today. 
as you probably know. Um, I, I know you're a little hungover, so um, I made you some special hangover cure. It's not exactly the same as like I used to make it back home, but uh. Wait, Mo got drunk back home. Yeah. Oh shit. Yeah, like his on on the farm, they like have some fruit and they ferment it. Okay. And stuff. Cool. Um, make they make like cheese, you know, from the am- no, a- animals' milk and all sorts of like. Cool. Just get drunk on cheese. Yeah. Oh, uh, cool. And there's like a there's like a like one other farm family that has like a another boy like a few old, older years older than me, mm-hmm. and we go. And that's like the only person I ever knew, other <laughs> than like my parents. <laughs> and he lives like two miles away, so it was a long walk. But we would like get together and like drink and shit probably oh, okay cowboy yeah. style you know like throw shit around and shoot shit bows and shoot. crossbows <laughs> throw shit around shoot the shit and drink <laughs> yeah. some shit yeah. yeah so i'm like yeah this has worked for me in the past hopefully it works it's kind of tough to put down but it'll help i think hopefully <laughs> <laughs> i'm looking at very skeptically but i'm not gonna back down not in front of you but after you've heard <laughs> me i start drinking it <laughs> Roll a con save. <laughs> oh, God. <clears throat> wow. That's a 20, not Nat. Yeah, so you stomach it. Um, it is vile. But you don't throw up, not immediately. Uh, do I f- do you feel it working feel in your head? Better? It's definitely like... Your your stomach definitely feels like it's crawling around on the inside. Oh, God, did I give sin food poisoning? <laughs> <laughs> um... Uh, <laughs> Thanks, buddy. See, now you're not so focused on your headache, right? It helps. <laughs> uh huh. That's just the first part. It will settle in, and you'll be good, probably. <laughs> oh, God. And Tano comes up and looks at. It. Did you drink this, Sim? <laughs> it's, it's a it's a hangover cure. It's supposed supposed to help. <laughs> oh, <my> God. <laughs> They're just um, going through the first rough stage and it gets better. It's cool. Probably. <laughs> um, okay, guys, we should we should talk about um, our plans for today and, and how we're exactly going to do it. So, yeah, what, what are you guys thinking today? I know we had talked about... Here, let me give you just the bag of holding just in case you need... Um, I mean, I, I guess you could in throw up into the bag of holding, but... The ways bag of holding works, you can call out any one item. Oh. So, uh... We'll have vomit, vomit for later? Yeah, it'll rot in there. Ew. Yes. Okay, never mind. I take that back. Don't puke in my bag. <laughs> <laughs> I just puked all over your shoes. Ugh. Oh. And Tano's kind of... That's part edging of Edging away from Mo. That's pretty gross. Um, That's fine. Yeah. We'll clean this up. Oh, I should one. go clean this up right now. Just know this is part of the process. <laughs> uh, uh, I, th- I think probably. All right. So what? What's the plan? I, I, I'm just gonna make clear that I did go clean up, and now we're yes. gonna talk again. <laughs> 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 so I did a little working last night. We had talked about putting you in the bag of holding. Yeah. But I don't think that's necessary because um, I pull out a little vial of like what looks like an empty vial and I like and I wiggle it but you can so you can kind of hear like liquid splashing around when I do it I was like this is like a little invisibility potion Mm -hmm. so instead of putting you in the bag you might be able to just follow me in there and we don't have to risk you suffocating okay okay Okay, yeah that's a good idea we Um, just need a plan to well we need a way to get in there by himself something compelling enough that he wants to talk to us alone talk to me alone Mm mm-hmm and then a way to get the jump on him. Maybe you, like, m- maybe the reason you show up without me is that you s- suspect me of something. Oh, that's good. I mean, you know. Well, I mean. Like, maybe you suspect me of, like, not being a good friend or not being <laughs> good at, like, you know, helping friends when they're in tough places, even though I try the best I can to help friends I mean, when not, they're in a bad not place. Not to be rude, Sim, but I, that's not really a reason to, you know, meet Mo in private. <laughs> I, 
I think it's about something else. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I know, but uh, it, I just want to make sure that if we're making a plan that it's realistic and won't get someone stabbed in the face other than the person we're trying to stab in the face. I mean, with all or due poison. respect, Tano, I take friendship very seriously. I, I do too, but I also value your lives. I, I'm just saying, yeah, thanks, like, Tano. I, my closest friend, my butler and my nanny growing up, um, they were the only two who consistently came to my birthday parties. I would do anything for them. And you know what? I, for their birthdays, I wrote them songs and they really appreciated them. I really, I really appreciate your song and I can't wait to, weren't they paid to, hear it to go to your, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, but why would, why would they be paid to come to a party? They had invitations. Shut up. <laughs> Hey, buddy, I made a mistake, all right? You know, I I know I messed up. I, I didn't mean it. I'm just... It's fine. Let's just, let's just make the plan. It's fine. Okay, so maybe you suspect me of something worse. Something that's somehow worse than being a bad friend. Yeah, but that doesn't seem like it would be something that would get him alone. What is something that he would want to keep private? I... I, oh, I, don't see I get you're... what you're saying. You're saying like to get his guards to go away and stuff. Yeah. Okay. Cause I, yeah, what I was saying is like, that would at least be a reason why I'm not there. Well, yeah, but that's, but that's, that's a, only half of it. I'm not sure he thinks about the two of you that much. I mean, you know, you know that thing where you're like always worried, like, Oh, what if I get this wrong? And then you realize people don't typically think about you that much. What? I'm not familiar with that concept. <laughs> Mo, do you get what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I, I'm not sure that... kind of prefer it that way. That something about the two of you will do something, but maybe there's someone that, if he learned something about them, would? Probably that one guy that he wants us to look into. Yeah. What could we say about him to, like... Garrick. So we just need some way... So if... We, would saying that we found Garrick do anything, like... I mean, it does seem like... A topic, it's like a, topic, a more sensitive topic. The topic is sensitive. He talked to us alone last time, right? When we were bringing up Garrick. So if I come in and I say I have sensitive information about the job you gave us, I think that's our best bet. I mean, we don't. I don't think we know enough about anything else to try anything else, right? Mm-hmm. Well, you could always just lie. I mean, that can't be much worse than the fact we're going to be killing him. Yeah, I'm not too. I don't have too many issues with lying. Everyone that's lies. obvious. Oh, I'm trying here, buddy. Okay. Get, cut me some slack, please. Do you know what I'm doing today? I'm doing the same thing. No, you're not. I'm a part of this, too. You're not in this alone. That's what I was trying to sing to you. You, you could almost say we're all in this together. <laughs> I wish I knew Mo, that song better let... or I would start singing <laughs> that to Mo. Mo, you really have to let this idea go. Just let it go. Let it go. <laughs> You can't hold me back anymore. <laughs> let me go. Just let me go. Look, this is just becoming a never-ending story. We really need to figure out what we're doing. I think that'll do it. If we just go in and say, I need to talk to Garrick about, or not Garrick, <laughs> Talbot about the job he gave us. And it needs, and I have some sensitive information. I just need to get in the door. And then, yeah. what do you think? I mean... Yeah, I mean, I, I think that makes sense. Okay, so you're in the door, you're in the room. What do you do next? I, I put the, po the poison in a uh, syringe. <laughs> <laughs> I put the poison in the syringe <laughs> so I can kill him. <laughs> so I'll just talk to him about, make up some lies about Garrick, and then when he turns his back, I'll just get him right in the neck or something. Okay. And then and you'll well, be there. I'm in there too, and and then we'll. I I can I can hold like hold him from afar. Well, you're gonna hold him like you're gonna give him a hug. One, one second, if you have an invisibility potion, why do you even need to be present? That's a good point. Well. Well, you gotta break in though. I guess Do you could, could just linger and wait I mean, until you the could door just, opens. You could just trailblaze right behind someone as they walk in. Yeah. And then just jab them in the neck with a syringe. It's true. While he's like in the bathroom or something, and then no one will know it was you or what happened. 
and you wouldn't even be involved, Mo. Well, we we don't know when he goes to the bathroom. Which is, how long does the invisibility last? An hour. That should be enough time, shouldn't it? You just go hang out in the bathroom. (laughs) Well, I mean, you might want to just follow him around, but... What if we... Wait, hold on. I can cast invisibility through Keela. What does that mean? So, like, instead of me doing it, Keela can be there to cast invisibility. So, like, rather than me having to be there with you to constantly... Like, if you run out of time and I need to oh, apply do it, again? it again. Yeah. Keela could do it. Yeah. Potentially. I only have so many... Couldn't I just bring an extra vial? In theory, yes, that's not how the rules work in the game. It's a spell flavored as a vial. Oh. Uh, <laughs> but you guys weren't too keen. I mean, like, I was... The reason I'm doing it is because no one else wanted to kill him. I'll kill him. You'll just kill him? You seem to have a bigger issue with killing him than I do. I mean, do you really want to kill him, Mo? I don't want you guys to have to kill people. Well, I mean, I've already killed people, and Sims killed people, and you've killed people. Well, in self-defense, like... This is still self-defense. I want to be free. I want to just live <laughs> in my Cadillac. Is that a friend this of yours? This is my shit. No. Cadillac? No, I I just want to be free. Like, I'm, I'm tired of being, you know, it's like, it's like... I still have an agent, you know, except this agent doesn't even get me good gigs. <laughs> it's not like your real one did either. I just like shoot a glance at Tana like... Sorry, I'm still a little hungover. <laughs> oh, did you want to drink? <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> I get sassy <laughs> when I'm uh, drunk. Not like, no, like a hangover cure. Yeah, The most special. Yes, I, I'm aware. I'm, I'm good. <laughs> All right. Just let me know if that changes. Anyways... I just feel like it wouldn't be the right thing to do to make you do this alone. It's fine. I've been alone a lot of my life. You couldn't even lift that bag to put a, some papers, pick up some papers. I think you'll need my help to put a body in a bag. The box was about 50 pounds. What if, what if I'm the one to... Would either one of us be able to feasibly... Like, well, we don't have to shove him in the, in the bag anymore. We can just leave him dead. Well, I mean, if you're invisible, couldn't you just like, whoosh, like put the bag over his head and just disappear him and immediately take his place without poison? No, but we have the poison. <laughs> yes, but have you heard of killing your babies? Sometimes. What? No. Let, let, let me explain. It's a writing concept. You might love something. You might have worked on it for a long, long time, but it's just not working. So you kill your babies. And then we save the poison for another occasion. It's a good plan, too, but I mean, if you're invisible, why not just disappear him into the bag of holding? I guess that's a good plan. And then, because Sim is there, he can just immediate. they can just immediately become Talbot, if we want to. You need his clothes. You need some time, too. The thing is, if you... So you have to go to Talbot's bedroom, steal some of his clothes. Doesn't have to be exact. You can say he changed. And then disappear the real Talbot. That's a really good idea. Okay, I'll... Do you want to do this? Are you really okay with doing this? I read a lot of Magatha Misty as a kid. (laughs) (laughs) I mean, I mean, yeah. I I think it's... We gotta. We gotta do this. Question, though. This This would apply to a syringe or to the bag of holding. That's not invisible. This bag just floats up and... So you have to do it somewhere. Well... Is the things you're holding invisible? A creature you touch becomes invisible until the spell ends. Anything the target is wearing or carrying is invisible as long as on the target's Both person. Both the needle and okay. the uh, yeah, bag that, holding would, that be, would invisible. be invisible. Yeah. Okay. Just a clarifying question there. Okay. And I do think too that doing all of this, me as Talbot, I mean, I'll have access to anywhere. I'll have, I'll be able to tell people to leave me alone and stuff like that. So I could potentially. I mean, you could come to visit me with an update, visit Talbot with an update, mm-hmm. and then I could get you in there to, like, help me look for stuff if, if I needed more people, you know, couldn't do it all myself. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do that after he's in the bag. Yeah. The, yeah. Obviously, when I'm Talbot, but I'm just saying. Just get a call meeting for me. I like this plan. Are you sure, buddy? You're not going to, like... Okay, look. I don't want it to hurt our friendship if it... 
I care about you, you know, like this really put me in a bad spot. I don't, I don't necessarily want that for you. I mean, look, Mo, you can't look like Talbot. Like, yeah, but you can't, you can, we can do the same plan where you just take his place and I do it. If you need that, that's if, you, just, if that's that what you pu- need, that's putting you at risk. No, I, I can do this. This is, this is what heroes do. They take out bad guys. <laughs> they commit war crimes. <laughs> Well, it depends on... (laughs) I mean, killing Hitler would have been a war crime, right? But also heroic. I can do this. I can do it. Okay, if you change your mind, I can just make more potions. We can... If you get to the moment and it's too much, just back out. It's okay. Okay. Or call me, use a sitting stone. Like, I'll set that meeting, or I'll come in for a meeting, and then we can do it the original way. Just let me know. Okay. You're not alone in this. I know I'm not alone, but I'm also capable. Do you think I can't do this? I know you can. You're like the best actor I've ever seen. You could be Talbot. What? Just just Mo saying that Sim is the best actor he's ever seen. Do you mean that? Of course I do. I can do this. I can do this. I just, I'm sorry. I let you down. I'm just not. I mean, I should be the one learning from you, I think. But like... You're right. You just you have so much strength. You're just, you know what needs to be done. And I've got a lot to learn from you, too. I can give you some acting pointers. <laughs> <laughs> when this is all said and done. Not what I was talking about, but okay. Cool. I think, yeah. I, I, I'm going to lean... Uh, we're both sitting at this table. Yeah. So, like, I'm going to lean over and give you a hug. Okay. I want to give you a really big hug. Like, hold you pretty tight and maybe like shed a tear because like I'm really worried that like the purity of Sam is going to be lost <laughs> the purity I just don't I'm really worried you're going to be a changed person <laughs> like I thought it was going to happen to me that wasn't a pun on hi- him being a changeling <laughs> <laughs> that's why I laughed it, I guess it was <laughs> And it, like, was, it, whatever, worked, it worked on so many levels. makes me sound most clever. Uh-huh. All right, so are you heading to the palace then? Yep. I'll just be waiting outside. Keela is going to... Let me put her in the bag of holding. Okay. And then that way she just can fly out and then just let me go through the sending stones and I'll re-administer the, the invisibility if you need it. Okay. If you do become uninvisible, make sure it's a face of someone who's not you. So, like, make your base be yeah. someone else. I'm gonna, I'm gonna think back to one of the guards that like let us in one of the first times, like that was standing in the room or something. Yep. And I'm gonna make myself look like that person before I take the invisibility vial. Yep. And I also have the vial of poison in my pocket just as like a backup Mm -hmm. all right or syringe rather okay so you take the uh, invisibility potion Mm -hmm. vial whatever it is and you are now invisible for the next hour okay good luck i love you guys we love you too i'm gonna go up to the front door and just sort of wait until someone comes in. Um, the gate in. is still largely destroyed, so you could try to stealth past it, past the guards and the knights of the mother who are there. Oh, the gate. Yeah, I was thinking of the front door already. Yeah, I will stealth then. Roll stealth, please, with a uh, plus four to whatever roll you have. Oh, I'm like, Tano, give give her some inspiration. <laughs> give they them some inspiration. <laughs> Go ahead. So that's a, well, it's a 19 plus four plus four. Is that 28? <laughs> yep. So for any of your stealth rolls uh, while you're invisible, add a plus four. Okay. Uh, so yeah, with 28, you're able to just, maybe it was your years of playing Twister with uh, your brothers, or maybe it was trying. The butler and the yeah. nanny. At my birthday party. Oh, that's that's real sad. That's yeah. real sad. <laughs> Maybe it was your time on set on uh, Tieflings. They like it horny, but somehow you managed to just perfectly dart through, pirouetting around as you avoid every potential uh, loud spot and make it into the grounds of the manor. All right. I'm going to... Yeah, I'm going to go right up to the front door and just wait for 
someone to enter or leave. Okay, roll me a luck. That's an eight. Um, yeah, you don't see anyone coming or going immediately. With your perception the way it is, you do see that there are some workers who are probably house uh, servants who are kind of working from the servants' entrance. Okay, yeah, I was like, is there a side door? Um, I'm going to go over to that servants' entrance. Yeah, it is open, and they are loading food inside. All right. What kind of food? Uh, you see, um, like, pallets of fruit and uh, meat and other staples, like okay. expensive things that, you know, probably should be rationed out to the masses after such a disaster, <gasps> but... He's a real bad guy. Um, okay. Would I be able... Does it look like I would be able to slip in through the door that's open? If you roll high enough. Is there a pallet I could easily get on top of? Not without them noticing a sudden 180 pounds of weight on a uh, single... You know. Okay. Well, you said pallet, so I thought maybe it was really... But yeah, they're like pallets already. that they're coming in and like picking up like individual, individual crates. Yeah. Oh, okay. Never mind. Okay. Uh, I'm going to try to slip in, I guess. Roll dexterity, please. Oof. 14. Uh, yeah. There's a few close calls, but as you shimmy and jingle your way past the uh, maids and butlers, you just barely manage you suck in your gut and just do a little squeeze past and you're in okay um as soon as i'm in i'm just i'm gonna like head into the halls like try to make my way downtown walking fast (laughs) workers pass and i'm talbot bound (laughs) <laughs> oh my god <laughs> that's good oh gosh <laughs> yeah that's so where's funny. all this bardic stuff coming from all of a sudden I don't know man <laughs> I'm just feeling inspired today <laughs> <laughs> oh my god <laughs> that, that wasn't even on purpose um yeah yeah I'm just good, but like going through the, the halls until I'm like seeing something that looks familiar because I have been here yeah, it doesn't take you long until you see the entrance hall. Okay. So I'm going to go to there and then um, make my way to the door to his study. Okay. Uh, yeah, you see the door and the entrance. Both are closed. I want to put my ear up to the door, see if I can hear You anything. don't hear anything. Okay. I guess I'm going to stand there, like not in front of the door, but like to the side Mm -hmm. and just sort of wait. Um, You see movement deeper into the chateau, but not near the entrance. All right. I guess I'll go towards the movement. Okay. Um, You head down a hall and down another hall and you come to what appears to be a large meeting room, maybe a ballroom with a big table set up. Uh, that you can't quite see what's on it, but it looks like there's figurines and stuff like that, and a bunch of men in uniform and uh, all races, um, ages and genders are in the room currently. And you do see Talbot kind of at the head of it, speaking with some of the more highly decorated individuals. Okay. Um, Is the room like, are they sitting at this table? Oh, they're all kind of standing around it. Standing around it. Is there, like, I, can I get back behind them, like, navigate through the room, or is it, yeah. it's not too crowded? Okay. Then I want to make my way over towards Talbot. Yep. You, you can do that. It's okay. Because I, and I want to just see what I can hear. Like, what is he saying? He is very clearly discussing troop movement and uh, an upcoming plan against where they believe another god is going to rise. And you see a knight of the mother is one of the people discussing with him. Someone very highly ranked. Does he... So it sounds like like the them making plans and talking about this other god rising is like something he wants? It's not like a trying to... No, it looks like they're making plans to try and destroy one of these gods. So that Knight of the Mother must be not 
sharing their whole agenda. Yeah. Even though we warned him that that was a thing. What a dick. (laughs) (laughs) But what if he isn't a dick? In fact, the knight of the mother who is is the one who is putting this plan forward. To destroy... Yes. The god. Yep. Interesting. Hmm. Sim's confused. <laughs> and you see that the table is largely a massive uh, map of the world. Um, there are the outlines of all the countries, and you see uh, like little models wherever there are presumably troops or armies that they can use across that uh, world. To, 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 des- to destroy the gods, not to awaken them. To destroy them. That is correct. This is not Brendan messing up either. Oh, oh. no, I, I didn't suspect that, but... No, I've, I've done stupid mistakes like that before. Oh. <laughs> just wanted to clarify. I just... Okay, we can I, talk about this I, later. I, Sim is very thrown by this, because this seems like a good thing? Seems like Talbot is, like, trying to do what we're trying to do. So, I'm gonna leave... <laughs> this room um, and I'm gonna go to a bathroom okay do you pick a nearby bathroom I mean well, yeah somewhat nearby I mean like okay, no down problem. the hall far, far away like not I'm not just like and you look in the mirror and you see Jackson Elias staring I'm, yeah. I'm kidding <laughs> I know right I was like wait I've been in a bathroom recently and <laughs> this was a yeah um <laughs> Roll sanity. <laughs> oh, God. Um, yeah, so I'm going to go into that bathroom. And then... Remind me how the sending stones work exactly? Looking it up right now, because I couldn't remember. Uh, you cast sending at the bearer. The receiving stone has no bearer at the moment. Stone do not cast a spell made. Oh, you can only cast sending once through it per day. Yeah, that's sort of what so I So sending... So wouldn't you be able to send it and Mo send one back? Yeah, yeah. but only the one. So I'm going to use the sending stone, I guess. Or or maybe I'm just going to... It's so hard to get in here, though. I don't really want to leave, but... It's not going to be enough to just have one message. I don't know. I am going to go... I want to look around for, like... <laughs> like a guard locker room. So I go into the bathroom okay, and I'm like freaking out. <laughs> and then I'm like, all right. That's pretty good. Ooh. 18. Yeah, you're able to find one. Um, they are closer to the servants' quarters than anything else, but you find where the guards keep uh, station. Okay. Are there any in there? Uh, not currently. This is mostly where they come to store their armor and... Uh, while they're sleeping. It, it looks like they have shifts and they're always on ground. Perfect. Are there any... I, I, I want to steal a uniform right now. Okay. Um, and just I'll stick that shit in the bag of holding. Perfect. Sweet. All right. Now I want to... I want to sneak... I want to see if I can find Talbot's like bedroom. Okay. Yeah. You are able to find Talbot's bedroom. It is a large room, bigger than his uh, study, and in fact, almost your entire house sim growing up. That's saying a lot. Yikes. My house was huge. Yeah. My parents are... He's richer. Movie stars. His bedroom's the size of a mansion? Yep. Multiple rooms, but yeah. Okay. Eh, Probably not a mansion. (laughs) Uh, Yeah, his bedroom's like gigantic. It's almost as big as the ballroom that uh, they were doing the planning in. Shit, okay. I just want to try to find, like, a wardrobe. I just want to I want to steal one of his outfits. Yeah, you're able to find that. Okay, I'm going to do that, and I'm going to steal an outfit that, okay. that looks as close to, like, the style, like, the level of, like, Yeah, you're able to find something wearing. that's pretty close. Okay, cool. I'll shove that in the bag of holding. All right. And then I want to head back down. You're approaching the 30 minute mark. I just, I just don't know that I should be killing this guy. Oh, I probably should be killing him. I don't know, but I cannot. I, oh, does it, are, are the servants quarters entrance? Like, is it still pretty bustling? Uh, they've definitely 
got a lot moved through since then, but there's a lot of stuff that they're uh, moving inside. Okay. So I'd have to sneak past them again. Mm-hmm. Because I kind of think I need to, to get back out to Mo to share this information. I'm going to try to sneak back out. You could always just drop disguise and go as a guard. Yeah, but I'm invisible. Can I? I can't. You can I can't. cancel at will. You can? Yeah. Oh, okay. Then... I'm going to go back to the servants' quarters. So mm-hmm. I'm not just like walking out of Talbot's room, right? And, you know, as long as no one's there, I'm going to drop the uh, invisibility. Invisibility. While wearing the guard's uniform, obviously. Yes. Yep. And uh, you do that in a room where no one's looking and you're heading back out to Mo, I'm guessing? Sure am. Uh, yeah, you make it back to Mo, no problem. Perfect. All right. Hi. Hey. It's not done. I, okay. It, it's it's not that I it's not that I like chickened out or anything because I can totally kill this guy. Okay. I just I I can do. Like this is like peer pressure senior prank <laughs> or something. <laughs> I, I just okay. Get this, and I, I want to describe the scene yep. and what I heard and everything. Okay. What if he's like not bad? I mean, like he is bad, right? Because of the martial badges. I don't know. I just. I kind of like, got really confused. I, I don't know. Tano explained a lot of stuff that, like, the lords have done that have been pretty fucked up, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, like, let's not forget about that. And, like, yeah, the Knight of the Mother is there. Someone from that organization. But how do we know they're not just, like, there to get data, get information? It's true. I don't know. They were, like, they were, like, actively contributing to the conversation about, like, taking out these gods. I don't know. And you guys, there's a lot of them. They're all over the world. Like, this map was crazy. I know. We've seen maps like it. Well, I know, but like... I mean, what the if figurines they're... figurines made it seem so real. What if they're using this intel <laughs> that the wards have to figure out where they all are? Or something. Like, there's all sorts of reasons someone could be there. And if that, and if that's what this Night of the Mother's doing, that still doesn't make... Talbot bad, that means that Talbot is being spied on. I thought you wanted to be free. I, like, I do want to be free. I mean, like, he's done terrible things, like, talk to the elf, you know? Like, I don't know. I just don't feel right convincing you to do it. Do you want me to go in? So my turn to give it a try. Well, I have this now, so you can go invisible and I can just go in as a guard. Who, who else do you think was in that room with you? There was a lot of people, it looked like a lot of the commanders of the armies that Talbot commands. Uh, one of the Knights of the Mother, you didn't quite see who, Talbot himself and a few people you didn't recognize. Like, didn't recognize as in didn't recognize who or what they were. Not, oh yes, I know all, everyone else, but. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I only, this is like, I only have one more vial of invisibility potion. So it has to be this time yeah i know i you're right i just i i just needed to talk to you about this i i don't know i so i freaked out a little bit it's fine i i can totally help so okay so i'm doing it now yeah okay i mean if you are you gonna be Um, okay dude (laughs) yep here we go Okay, so what we're gonna go in your guard. What are you gonna? I, I know wait, the so entrances some... now and stuff. You can just follow behind me, invisible. Okay, that sounds good. Where where did you see him last? He was in this meeting room. Okay. We obviously can't kill him in there, though. Yeah. So. All right. Let's I do could, it. Hold on. What if he's in the meeting room longer than an hour? Yeah, that's the tough part. Okay, here. Hey. New, new idea. Put you in the bag of holding. We have ten minutes. Get you in the bag of holding. I can get you into a bathroom where you can... We can lock the door. You can stay in there. I can keep an eye out until I see him leave. Then you take the potion. Okay. Right? Sure. I think that works. That way we maximize. Yeah. Because if you take it now and he's in there for the next hour, what do you do with that? Right? We still have the syringe. We can just like, yeah, in All the right. middle of the meeting. <laughs> but then they'll but, know I mean, that he was would, assassinated. It would work if you're not trying to replace him. Yeah, 
and I am trying to replace him. It I think it would probably we, be easier. But we need more information. Like, like I, that puts us in a really good position to learn some stuff. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. All right, we're doing the plan, the original plan, not the original plan. All righty, well, I'll take the vial from you, just in case. Yep. Yeah. And then. All right. I'll hop in the bag. <laughs> <laughs> Get in the park. <laughs> Tano's just like, I I'll I I guess I'll go wait at that pastry place. Okay, Don't here die. Tano, here's the Oh wait, no, we we didn't use the sending stone. Here's one of the sending stones. If anything okay. happens, we'll reach out to you. And she takes it and heads over to a little pastry place nearby. Yeah. Alright. So you're in the bag? I'm in the bag. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right, I'm going to walk briskly. Yeah, you walk briskly back. You head back into the servant's entrance and into one of the bathrooms, and you are at about nine minutes yep. when Mo is able to get back out. Yeah. And the air was definitely getting very thin. Yeah. I'm like, I don't like it in there. <laughs> <laughs> you felt you're things probably- watching. <laughs> you're- I'm not joking. Yeah. You're probably really glad I didn't actually vomit in there this morning. Yeah. Roll for sanity. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Yikes. Um, okay, yeah. So. I'll just sit in one of these stalls, I guess. and Yeah. And I, I'm just going to go and patrol the halls. Be careful. Okay. okay. Do I have the syringe or do you? You do. Okay. You go and patrol the halls and it takes uh, about an hour before he leaves. <laughs> um, it looks like they're breaking for lunch. Okay. Uh, where's Talbot headed? Uh, he's headed in the opposite direction from everyone else and away from the bathroom. Okay. Is it in the direction of his study or anything? Or uh, it's headed back towards his rooms. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna move back towards the bathroom. Yep. <laughs> Get in there. All right. I think he's headed back towards his his bedroom bedrooms. Okay. Is his area? I, I know the way, so you can follow me. Okay, so we're using the bag of holding. That's the first thing is to like just cover them with it. Yeah. And then we can save the poison. Yep. Okay. And I like, you can see like I'm scared and I'm stressed and like, <laughs> okay, we can do this. Um, but if you have to, you can use the syringe and then shove them in the bag of holding. I mean, either way, right? Yeah. As long as, as long as no one really sees, but I'll be close at hand and then um, I'll just... I'm just going to try to get out as soon as I put him in the bag. I'm just going to drop it and then you can pick it up. Okay. And then leave him in there and I'll get out while still invisible. Okay. Make sure no one's around. Fuck, I know. You you can't just drop the... No, hold the bag. Keep the bag. And I'll just give it to you. You'll feel me touch you and then I'll give you the bag. Because I want you to have the bag with you. Right. Okay. Okay. But yeah, don't drop the bag because then it becomes uninvisible. I know, but if it was like in his room or something. But someone could come in before I come in there. That's a good point. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. How am I going to get in the room? Are you going to like knock or something and then... I'll give an update and you can slip by or something. Like an update on something. I don't know. Okay. That's like not... I got in there. Yeah. It's not locked. It wasn't when you were there, no. But the door... He might have it locked now and then he's going to notice a door opening. Yeah. If I maybe I just can go in and he'll like look at the door and that's when I'll do it. Yeah. I'll just slip by him unless he's yeah. like really suspicious and maybe we'll see it coming. I don't know. Well, we have no way of knowing. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm gonna make a little um, tinker and have that ready before I go. Okay. Just a noise making thing. All right. All right. Do you have major image? You could knock. I could major image like s- a someone in the hall that he would like open the door for, and as that image walks in, I walk in. Uh huh. That's pretty creative. Like Let's the, try that. Like the night of the mother, or some like yeah, s- somebody. Yeah, do the night of the mother person, and be like, we need to talk. Yeah. Okay, that's the plan. Okay. Wait, right. didn't you take glyph? Fuck. Yeah. I did take glyph. God <laughs> damn it. <laughs> okay, never mind. Scratch that. I'll just walk in. I'll throw a thing that'll make some noise in the room. That'll lure him back in there? Yeah. Okay. And then I'll do it. Okay. Let's go. Okay. 
Here we go. I drink the potion. Yep. Hours on the clock. I'm going to follow you. Uh-huh. Okay. And I'm going to head towards his rooms. All right. Yeah, you make it. Okay. Um, so I don't want to get too close. Well, no, I don't want to get too close. So you- it's, it's that door right there. Okay. Just go knock. Um, I'm not going to knock. I'm going to just walk in. If it's unlocked. Oh, right. Yeah. <laughs> I have thieves tools too. Okay. Um, I'm going to, is there anything in this hallway or, some, you know, area like where I could like make it look, like, would it make sense for me to stand guard, like post in the hall? Uh, you could kind of, you could do that. You could try to hide. You could go somewhere else. It's all up to you. I want to stay nearby so that I know when you're coming out so that I mm-hmm. can go in right away and become him. Yeah. So I'm going to just like stand like I'm watching guard. Like okay. I'm just like posted, not super close to the door, like down the hallways. But okay. And from your uh, extensive experience being a bit actor and playing a soldier in other people's movies, you know how to stand at attention. And Mo, you go up to the door and it is unlocked. Okay. And I, I just walk right in then. Okay. And I try to be as quiet as I can, opening it and closing it behind me. All right. Yep. Do I Roll see? stealth. Okay. So I have my thing, um, my stealth armor on. Okay. That gives me advantage on stealth. So I'm using that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's nice. If you're invisible, that gives you a plus four. Okay. So that's 23 total then. Yeah. You, uh, you are very stealthy as you creep into the rooms and shut the door behind you with nary a sound. Okay. Um, is he, can I see him in there? Uh, here? he is standing over by one of the windows, looking out at it, his arms behind his back as he contemplates something. Okay. Is there anyone else in the room that I can see? Roll investigation. Perception. Damn it. <laughs> I wanted investigation. I'll allow you to roll investigation. <laughs> Uh, 25. I rolled 25 on investigation. Okay. Um, yeah, there's no one else in the room with him. Okay. All right, I'm going to creep up behind him. Yep. My heart is racing, and, like, I'm trying really hard to keep my my breath from not being too loud. You feel like your heart's pounding in your ear, and every step you make makes a sound. And I, I grab the bag on either side and stretch it so that it's, like, big enough to fit him, and then... I pause for a second behind him, take a deep breath, and pull it over him. <laughs> Roll dexterity. <laughs> Just straight dex. Yep. This is a dex check. Oh, fuck. <laughs> All right, this is when I'm using my inspiration. <laughs> <laughs> what did you roll? Uh, eight. <laughs> and with inspiration? I'm so afraid. Okay. Fuck. Ugh. 11. 11. Uh, you try to go, but you, you get stuck on his shoulders and he starts struggling. And what do you do? Just immediately, what do you do? I'm going to like punch the back of his knee. Okay. Roll unarmed strike. <laughs> this is so scary. <laughs> ah. Okay. Come on, buddy. Come on. Oh, fuck yeah. 22. 22. You punch and his knee just buckles and he falls down. Roll me another dex check. Oh, thank God. 19. (laughs) 19. You get it down his torso and he's trying to stop you, but he can't really. And you get it all the way to the ground and you upend it and tie it closed. Oh, my God. You've got a grown tiefling man in your bag of holding. And then I'm just on the ground, like frozen, like holding the bag closed. Can he like struggle on his way out? Do I have to like hold it or? He cannot. It is uh, not something he can really get out of on his own. (sighs) And I... I just sit there for like probably like two minutes just taking in this moment that makes it sound like I enjoy it (laughs) (laughs) like feeling my heart rate going feeling the weight of what you've just done yeah and a door that you didn't see before bursts open and a little tiefling boy comes running in no you motherfucker (laughs) yeah about 10 years old and he's daddy and he looks around and says Froze his brow confused, but just continues looking for him, goes out the hall and just keeps looking. Do I see the tiefling boy come out? You do. All right. But he doesn't look worried or anything. He's just looking. Okay. Um, does he, he, 
does he leave the hall? Yep. Like he walks past me. Okay. Yep. So seeing that he just came out of that door, I'm gonna go up to the door. Yep. Go to the and. You don't see anything in there. Okay. I don't see the bag. Oh right, he's holding the bag. <laughs> Duh. Yeah. God damn it. Okay. And seeing that, that makes me like silently like sob to myself, like unable to like control my emotions, and like this is just. Mo. Mo, are you in here? You feel a bump against your shoulder and the bag appears at your side. Is it done? I'm gone. Oh, shit. (laughs) (laughs) Um, I'm going to, like, try to, you know, put the bag, conceal the bag, whatever. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to quickly leave the room. Yeah. And that's where we're going to end for tonight. Oh, shit. (laughs) (laughs) Thank you so much for listening to this episode 24 of our Dungeons and Dragons campaign. (laughs) Murder. (laughs) I should have known you were going to do something like this. (laughs) Thank you so much for listening. Uh, If you liked what you heard, we always appreciate a rating and a review on whatever podcast app you're listening to us to. If you want to reach out to us, you can get us at Twitter at WhatRulesPod or WhatRulesPod at gmail.com. We'll be back next week with the next episode of our Call of Cthulhu campaign, followed the week after with the follow-up to this. Thanks so much for listening, and good night. Bye.